I'm Jacob Morris. I'm a product development engineer with Press Hill Corporation. I'm here today to talk to you about the new line of Econoseal. This line of Econoseal will put PVC pipes into a 48 inch manhole. Today I'm going to walk you through what it takes to install a connector onto the mandrel and how that fits into a form set. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a look at the components of the Econoseal assembly. The first thing you'll notice is our new solid aluminum mandrel. The next component is our standard Econoseal rubber compression connector. Following this, we have eight torsion springs. These springs are a stainless steel construction. Finally, you have a press seal magnet and a press seal magnet shim. With these simple components, you can be casting in a matter of minutes. Let's take a look at how easy it is to assemble. Now that we know the components of the Econoseal assembly, let's go ahead and put one together. We're gonna to start by placing our mandrel face up. Next, we're gonna grab our connector. We wanna position the connector such that it is key lock up. If we remember this nomenclature, we'll always make sure we've oriented our seal correctly. Face up, key up. Start by pinching the seal and beginning to place it over the three o'clock and nine o'clock positions of the mandrel. Continue to pinch the seal and work around to the 12 o'clock and the six o'clock position of the mandrel. Repeat this until we've started the seal past the first initial face of the mandrel. Now we're gonna flip the mandrel over where we've gained access to our spring slots. We're gonna start by inserting our three o'clock and our nine o'clock springs. Shift the seal forward towards the open face until you feel those springs engage. Now we're gonna start on the close half of the mandrel and work that seal towards the open face. Just a little at a time. And we're gonna start by pushing our 10 o'clock spring all the way in and feeling that engage into the groove. Now come back to the closest side to you and put in your two o'clock spring and finish this side by inserting the 12 o'clock spring. We're gonna rotate the mandrel 180 degrees and repeat those steps. Again, we're gonna start by positioning the seal towards the open face of the mandrel. We're gonna insert our 10 o'clock spring. We're gonna follow that with our two o'clock spring. And we're gonna finish our assembly by inserting our 12 o'clock spring. Now that we have completed our assembly, let's go through some quality control. The first item we're gonna look at is seal position. First, we're gonna look at the 12 o'clock and six o'clock positions. Here, we're looking for the sealing load to be flush or just over flush with the open face of the mandrel. Next, we're gonna look at the three o'clock and the nine o'clock positions. Here, we expect to see a small gap where we're looking for some exposed aluminum. The third item we're gonna look at is spring engagement. We're gonna do this by pulling back the key lock and looking to see that the spring actually protrudes into the groove of the connector. These items will ensure optimal performance. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the new line of Econoseal.